We just got some really, really big news that regards some of the future Pokemon games. So recently the Pokemon company registered like a new studio or side company, I guess, called Pokemon Works. And it's actually located in the exact same building as Ilka or ILCA. I'm really not sure how to say it. I don't know if it's Ilka or ILCA. But also, if you guys don't mind leaving a like on this video, commenting down below, and subscribing to the channel, it really helps. And I really appreciate any of you that do support the channel. Basically, if you don't know who ILCA or Ilka is, they are the people that made Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. They also made Pokemon Home and Pokemon Sleep, I believe. So they've made a couple Pokemon games. Um, but you may think that this is kind of iffy at first. And I, when I first heard this, I was like, uh-oh, Ilka, this is, are they going to make some more Pokemon games in the future? Which looks like they are. But the good news is that this actually sounds more like a partnership type of thing where Pokemon Works, their new branch or new company, whatever you want to call it, is in that same building, which they could kind of be like the people that oversee the future Ilka Pokemon games. So it's kind of like a partnership and actually can be extremely beneficial for the future Pokemon games because there's going to be somebody looking over Ilka's shoulders. And Ilka can make good games. I know Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl were not the best Pokemon games. They were pretty bad as far as remakes go, but as a game, I thought, I mean, I thought it was still pretty fun, but I understand why people did not like Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I thought the game visually looked good. I, I don't know if I was the biggest fan of the chibi art style either, but the game like looked good. So I don't know. I really do feel like Ilka can make some good Pokemon games and that Pokemon works or the Pokemon company looking over their shoulder, basically while they're making the future Pokemon games, maybe an amazing thing because pokemon works could tell them what to do differently they need to do this or that or change this and change that and everything and this would also be more people more staff for the games that ilka makes in the future as well as more ideas and probably better quality as well because we know that the pokemon company announced a couple of months ago that they want to kind of slow down a little bit and try to make better games is, is basically what they said so they they want to make better games better quality games that the fans are really 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 going to love so it's also kind of assumed that ilka will make kind of more of the smaller pokemon mainline games and then game freak will make the bigger games probably like generation 10 and they'll make generation 11 and everything but like ilka may make a black and white remake or something and this would actually give game freak more time and more patience i guess i'll say to make the bigger pokemon games while ilka will be still making good pokemon games or better pokemon games they'll just kind of be looked over by the pokemon company which is such a good thing and i really think that they're going in the in the right direction here and it's really unknown what exactly ilka is going to make in the future they probably have some sort of contract i'm assuming where they're going to make you know x amount of pokemon games or maybe this could even be more of a permanent thing for Ilka and the Pokemon company where they're just kind of a combined they're they're joining together to make future Pokemon games and with them being in the same building I don't know if it's the same like room or how this building actually looks or works like I don't know if they own the entire building or if this is one of those buildings where it's like each floor is a different company but either way it's in the same building so they can easily partner together and easily ask questions go back and forth with ideas and just how a game should actually be built i guess at the same time it, this could be weird to some people because it's like why would they even need to do this why would they need a company to look after or you know collaborate with another company to make good pokemon games when they should just be making good pokemon games in general i guess there just have been random things that have happened to where some of the recent pokemon games haven't been as good as they could be i guess I mean, they're still really fun. I always get so, like, conflicted when I'm talking about this, like, the quality of Pokemon games, because they have been really fun, but they just haven't been as, like, special as they used to be, which is a weird, kind of a weird thing to talk about, because I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining about the games, because I still really like the Pokemon games. I love the franchise. It's, like, the coolest franchise out there, and I really enjoy playing the new Pokemon games that come out. And I'm really looking forward to Legends ZA, and I don't hate the Pokemon Company or Game Freak by any means, but it's no secret that the recent couple releases haven't been as, like, good as we know that they could be. Because we've seen time and time again where Pokemon has released an amazing game, like a thoroughly built, just amazing game. And with Ilka, they, like I said earlier, they probably have some sort of contract where 
Maybe they have to stick stick around for 10 years or make five games, make three games, whatever it may be, because maybe that's why Pokemon Works was created because of Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl not really having the best response from the customers and the fans. So the Pokemon company is like, well, we're in this contract with you guys. How about we just make another company? We partner with you guys and kind of overview everything that you guys do and make sure it's, it's you know, peak or where it should be for a Pokemon standard. So I think they're going in a good direction. And I definitely think that the Pokemon company has been listening to fans. And I think they've been hearing everyone's opinions and their thoughts, which is great. Because we've seen a lot of things recently where it seems as if they are listening. Because... As we know, we got a lot of games released within a short amount of time, so we're getting less Pokemon games, that's true. And I also made a video about um, how we're, we may get a game this year, but I kind of think it's delayed, because there was a leak about us getting two games this year, 2024, but Legends ZA was announced to be coming out in 2025, so not this year. So that leaves us with a potential of getting one Pokemon game this year, which we still could, because they could definitely announce it, in a month or two or in, even in August or something like that because I'm pretty sure there's a Pokemon Presents in August and they could give us a game this year but I don't think that's happening I really don't think especially with this news right here because if Pokemon Works just is a brand new company working alongside Ilka or ILCA I don't think that gives them enough time to fully make a new Pokemon game to release this year which the theory is that Ilka is going to make a black and white game next which probably will release maybe next year or even in two years who knows but I think this is a great, great thing, and I'm really excited to see what will actually happen. We have no more information yet. This is fresh news. This is fresh off the press. This is brand new, so we don't really know anything else other than Pokemon Works is the name, and it's in the same building as Ilka or ILCA. So I guess soon we'll probably get some information or leaks about like what specifically they're doing, how they are specifically working together, what games they may be developing or what the contract is or what everything looks like i feel like the main reason why this is a thing with pokemon works and elka or ilca is because they're just there have been some bugs there's a lot of glitches technical performance issues within some of the recent pokemon games i know elka has only made like one mainline pokemon game but i think they just want to prevent that from happening in the future games because because scarlet and violet had a ton of glitches even though i know elka had nothing to do with that but Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl did have a lot of bugs. I never actually ran into any myself, and it wasn't super common. It was definitely more like specific things that had to happen to cause these random bugs and glitches. Um, but some of them just could be like... But some of them were like random glitches that actually appeared in the original Diamond and Pearl games that were also in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, as well as vice versa, where it's like a glitch where a new glitch was like newly discovered in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl that you could also do in the original games that were never discovered until like the game came out, which is kind of funny. But overall, I think this is some really good news. Let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts about this? Are you looking forward to future games? Let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video.